Right guys, welcome back to the channel and after the last two issues of White Dwarf, which I've ended up picking up at Battle Bunker, I decided to resubscribe because I think there's a lot more value in White Dwarf now of what there was previously and it was already good. So absolutely amazing front work there. It's nice to see like the entire artwork. There you go. How cool is that man? So let's have a look and see what we've got in. Of course, prepare for carnage. We've got the new Assassin's Rules. I've already done a video on these. Uh, you can go and check out my review of the stratagems and everything for them. And there will be a battle report out on Friday, the 1st of March, uh, which will include all four Assassins. Yep, that's right, all four. So really, really good stuff. I think they're going to be in a lot of army lists going forward. Got absolutely loads of stuff. Got Blood Bowl, Age of Sigmar. Lots and lots of articles for this month and Warhammer 40,000 and everything as well. And of course you get the full art print with the uh, with subscriptions and uh, I think it's if you take a six month subscription you essentially get one issue free. Which is, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And you get it earlier than everyone else. So we've got all the points of contact. I'll have a read of those later. But we've got readers, models, let's see who we've got, see if there's anybody I recognise. So nobody I recognise but some very, very nicely painted models indeed. I love him and I love the Nurgle Rhino, I'm sure Ian will like that as well. I love the blue glow which is what I've got on my Blood Angels as well. So we've got details about Vigilus, lots and lots of fluff and background going on there which I'll have a read of later. Oh look at them mushrooms! Those magic magic mushrooms. Wow that's awesome and this this is just cork barking which I've got plenty of over uh, in the cupboard which I need to do um, I need to make some terrain. We've got Nagash of course Lucy is currently painting up Nagash as well. Details about play testing as well. And some background as well. Lots of nice stories, and of course, a battle report uh, or a, a, what's it called? A battle plan for four players. So that will be interesting to have a read of. And we've got the, the war band, so we've got the corn, we've got uh, Sylvaneth. Oh, look, we've got augers. We haven't seen augers like looked at in so long and look at that Archeon conversion wow that's got like a zombie dragon and, and two terrorgeist heads on what's that count as vampire lord and zombie dragon with chalice of blood death lance and ancient shield wow I need to paint my Archeon it'd be such a cool model and of course then we've got the full battle report I won't go over all of the details in case there is spoilers but it's nice to see a couple of four-way battle reports but that uh, that vampire lord is absolutely outstanding like wow quite in depth as well and then we've got details about the realm of life as well uh, David who was at the Durham Raiders event had a very very nice uh, realm of Duran uh, Sylvaneth and Stormcast working together. I love the bright greens of the, of the Stormcast. Really, really nice work. Of course, up we've got a couple of the uh, painted up models. I love that he's using the piece of them. Um, it's arcane. I think it's just the arcane ruins. Uh, and then, of course, all the little critters that you do get on the Sylvaneth as well. We've got loads that we still need to stick to Lucy's who's who and what's what. Details about how to do some basing and of course how to paint up the trees as well. I love the trees right but they break off so so easily. And then of course we've got details on how to paint the uh, Azurite ruins as well. Really really neat to get mine finished. They're kind of half done. Uh, just needing a few more colours on them to get them finished off. But so many different ways you can colour it. Very, very nice detail terrain, of course, just with a few extras on, it can look very nice, of course. And the riser ruins, very much the same as well. 
I love how much scenery is going on here. It's even showing you how to make some extra bits as well, so you can put the big crane in the middle. This is really cool. I like this a lot. And then showing you how to use the hematrope reactors with one of the uh, furnaces to basically turn it into a, a sideways. Yeah, look at that man. That's cool as. Very, very nice. And then we've got a bit of background interview with Phil Kelly. Really nice bloke. I have actually met him once. And then we've got a uh, glory point for Age of Sigmar Night Vault. And a little bit of a focus on the uh, Dark Orts. I hope this means that the Dark Orts are getting um, a battle tome soon. Of course the Sylvanath Warband is still to come as well. Uh, Iron Skull's Boys, Morlog's Mob. Uh, I've got both of these. Uh, which I use, or will be, I've used more log in a battle report, but I haven't used Iron Skull's Boys as of yet. Um, and Gene Steeler Cult. My word, some of these models are absolutely outstanding. There's just so much detail on them, that it's nigh on impossible that I try and batch paint. There's just so much going on with them, which is good, but it's such hard work. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got details uh, about the Nova Open that Robin went to. And here we go, Index Imperialis, which is for the Assassins. So a bit of background about each of them. Quite a lot of background about each of them. There's probably more here than in the Index. It's nice that they're bringing these forward as well. There we go, lots of detail about each one. And then of course the timeline. And then this is the pages that you want. This is basically the detachment rules and the uh, stratagems. Essentially you've got two for each um, assassin and then two standard ones. Uh, I'll go back on points in the review about uh, spending a command point and just take an assassin. It's very good because you can just take the assassin that fits your opponent's army. So whichever one you end up wanting to, to take out. If your opponent's Eldar and got a lot of Psychers, take a Calexus. Um, if, you know, they're pretty manoeuvrable and you can maybe see some spaces opening up, take an Eversaw. And there we go, the data slates as well, they've got each changed. And then here is a handful of different people's um, assassins. So we've got Peachy there. Um, I don't recognise any of the other names. And then again, some uh, different ways to paint up the skulls, the rifles, the strapping that's on the models. I do need to pick up some of these new models because I haven't got any of them. I've only got the old metal ones. So then we've got a four-way battle report um, between four of the staff members. We've got Gene Steeler Cult. We've got Harkon World Claimer there. And interesting enough, this guy's building new raptors, uh, new raptors, he's building up some raptors, so that might mean that we're not getting any new models for them, but we'll have to see. We've got some orcs, and of course, uh, Raven Guard there as well. I love the orcs, trucks, very, very cool indeed, and I think, you know, if the if you make them slightly less haphazard, they'll be pretty good for Gene Steeler Cult stuff. And then we've got an Imperial Knight Army by Damien. Absolutely beautiful models. So, so nice. Of course, this guy with a big giant cleaver on his fist. We've got the Atropos there as well. The Lancer with the Lightning Arc. The amount of hex patterns that he's got going on is unbelievable. It's so accurate and clean. There we go, he's got uh, the shields all charged up as well, and it's of course squashing a orc truck. And the Porphorian, that is a massive, massive model. Such an amazing paint job on that as well. And we've got details about Wrath and Glory there as well. And then we've got Blood Bowl, some details about the Goblins team. And 
and then of course we've got details on the new releases from the Black Library. Loads and loads of stuff coming out. Lots of heresy stuff as well. And inside the studio, Imperial Fist um, diorama, very very nice and of course inspired on that piece of artwork as well. And that's something I would love to do one day if I get more time. And wow, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That is a, a realm gate inside of a wood. And it's almost made me want to do this for one of Lucy's. So, yeah, lots and lots of information in here, guys. This is going to take some time to read over properly. Um, but please go and pick up White Dwarf. Uh, if you live in Sunderland, go and pick it up from Battle Bunker. Justin will have it in from Friday the 1st of March. And uh, please check out the rest of the channel. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again soon.